Frizden with Hachiemon. How kawaii was that? Now, what we have is a game that Trisden want me to pronounce properly, so let me see if I can do it. Bao Ching Tien. I hope I didn't mess that up. He'll correct me. It's fine. Alright, enjoy! Cool. So, this is Bao Ching Tian. Uh, I'm sorry. No, no, we don't get to see that yet. <laughs> this is... Okay, okay, okay. This is a bootleg of a bootleg based on a, a Chinese TV drama based on a historical Chinese figure. Yeah, get ready for this. I think my volume is good, so let's go. Also, I have no idea if I'm actually going to be able to finish this. So, one of the first things to keep in mind is that jumping is faster than walking. So, if you're walking, much like in Hachiman, you're doing it wrong. So, you just jump across the entire level. Uh, this is based on a Chinese TV drama called Justice Bao, or at least that's the translation where um, it's about, I don't know, a season worth of uh, little clip shows that detail the life of a uh, judge by the name of Bao Zhang from around 1000 AD in China. And it's actually a really good show, and I recommend people go find the subtitle versions on YouTube and check it out. But for now, we have this. This was written by... Uh, a bunch of developers who were ex Sashin employees, as in the bootlegger uh, company. So they weren't even good enough to be Sashin developers. They were just whatever. Uh, and it is a bootleg of uh, an Enter the Dragon game, which in of itself is a bootleg. It uses the same engine and some of the same assets, but it's not authorized by the developers of the Enter the Dragon game. So it's a bootleg of a bootleg. Also, this guy can't hurt me as long as I stand directly on top of his hitbox. So we just stand there and punch him over and over again until he goes down. Another thing of note. Oh, by the way, um, epilepsy warning on this cutscene. Seriously. But this is also the best cutscene. It's the only cutscene, okay? So this is the execution of the criminal we just caught. And now we're going to go catch another criminal. Yeah, so that was a uh, guillotine. And the Chinese character that appears when Bao Zhang yells is cut or execute. I've been told they mean the same thing in Chinese, basically. But yeah, that is the best face. I love it. Oop. I landed on an arrow, that's okay. So, more about Bao Zhang. Bao Zhang was, uh, is not the main character here. I believe your main character is Gong Soon, who is Bao Zhang's um, bailiff and clerk, and is basically Watson to Bao Zhang's um, Sherlock Holmes. Also, this boss is a butt face. He's only vulnerable when he's doing his throwing animation, so you have to... Ow. You have to wait until he's about to attack and just have your sword on top of him. Like that. And he can decide to jump any number of times before he throws. So in a speed run, your run can just die here if you don't wanna, or if he doesn't want to attack. Come on. Come on. There we go. Fortunately, he doesn't take very many hits to kill. Unfortunately, he's a butt face and can just kill you if he decides to attack over and over again while he has iframes. There we go. 
So we get the exact same cutscene again and again, flashing warning. You cannot skip this. So we executed someone else. Justice, yo. And then we go to stage three. I tried to map these particular stages to like plot arcs in the TV show, but I couldn't do it. I don't know who any of these are from the TV show or even from like maybe even historical precedent. I think they're just stuff that got made up for the game. But the show is really good. I, I still wholeheartedly recommend you watch it, even if you think this is garbage. By the way, you can't end a stage until the enemy has either died or left the screen. So you just kind of get stuck there waiting for that dancer to walk away. Ow. Oh no! <laughs> if you get hit, you get dropped straight down. I'm actually surprised I didn't die sooner. Like, all your momentum just disappears. So, we're gonna let this clear out. It's all good. I had to show off one death. You can jump up on top of the uh, ceiling here, but you soft lock if you do, because the, uh, the screen exit is not up there. You just get stuck. Alright, this boss. So this boss has a ton of iframes, and you basically just have to wait between cycles, jump up, and hit his dingus up here. If you get hit by those knives, by the way, it's practically instant death, because each one of them gets a hit on you. But anyway, while we're doing this, um, I believe the character is Gong Soon, who is Bao Zhang's clerk and assistant, as I said. Um, you actually have the ability to screen bomb, which summons um, a guy by the name of Ba Jin Zhao, which is Bao Zhang's bodyguard. Um, the TV show uh, has some uh, kung fu fighting scenes mixed into it, where anytime Bao Zhang gets to the bottom of a crime, usually the criminal tries to resist, and then Zin Z uh, Zhao shows up and beats the crap out of him. I have no idea what he's doing, and I... Uh, I don't ask. I actually think what he's doing is manipulating a lever, and no, I don't mean in that manner. Uh, it, I believe he is manipulating a lever, but he's dead now. So it doesn't matter. We get this cutscene again. This is the worst music in the game. And this is also the longest level and has the longest boss fight in the game, so get used to it. If you see me like doing this weird flutter in midair, it's because once you jump, you are committed to how fast you're moving. You can switch directions, but you can't slow down, so it's basically Castlevania jumps, but you can change direction in midair. The problem is if you're going to overshoot a jump, you have to turn around, fly in the other direction for one or two frames, and then turn around again instead of just stopping. <laughs> it's pretty bad. So pretty intense jumps there. Oh, nope. I don't know what I was doing there. So this boss is completely RNG. Um, if he teleports to the middle, I can hit him twice. Anywhere else, I can only hit him once. So, if he teleports to the middle, a lot, I get a nice fast boss fight. If he doesn't, it's a pretty long boss fight. And there's nothing you can do about it. Nabots, he's not breaking. He's afraid to break again after what happened last time. <laughs> I 
Speaking of 2 BC, uh, we got the Bible block on Sunday morning, tomorrow morning. That's gonna be a thing we're seeing. Uh, I don't know what this guy is. I think he's supposed to be, um, like the attache or the personal assistant of a, uh, royal court member from one of the Justice Bow arcs. It's the only thing I can figure out, but I don't know for certain. The story I think he's from involves the theft of a, a royal seal and some gold. And as it turns out, it was the assistant of the royal who had the stuff stolen from him that was doing it. This game was developed in the same year as Bubsy 3D. It must be fate. All right, we have one more stage left. We got about three minutes left in the run. Assuming things go well. <laughs> That's a big if. So you can just get bodied here if you're unlucky. Also, the signs vibrate. I don't know why. We're gonna let this arrow fire because that syncs some things up to let me do this. Gotta kill that guy to exit the level. So these logs, if you get hit by one of these logs, you're dead because you fall straight down. So we're gonna play it safe here. Come on. <laughs> so I actually just despawned a rather difficult enemy right there. Whoop. See what I mean about falling straight down? I was talking and didn't think. That's okay. Maybe we'll get to see the rather difficult enemy I accidentally despawned. Nope. Alright. So, yeah, if you move fast enough through there and just push forward without killing a particular enemy, the next one will despawn. Also, that Chinese wizard there takes like 15 hits to kill and um, can just easily destroy you, but you scroll him off the screen and it's fine. If you don't scroll him off the screen, you have to kill him before you can end the level. This is the final boss. Well, I, I should say the penultimate boss. Um, his thing is he jumps left and right and throws sticks at you. Now, you may be asking yourself, why am I just standing on the left? And not chasing after him? And the answer to that is, one, it's incredibly dangerous to chase after him. And two, his decision to jump left or right is completely uncontrolled. And it's equally likely, if I chase him, that he will just jump to the other side when I get to him. As it is that he'll just, st you know, stay over there. So, it's better to just gamble that he'll come to you as he's doing here. Alright, so that's phase one down. Here is the real final boss. It's the exact same thing. He doesn't hit harder, he doesn't move faster, he doesn't have any new gimmicks, and he doesn't have more health. It's the exact same boss with a palette swap. By the way, my left hand has been off of my controller since the start of this. I've only been jumping and attacking. Yeah, this boss would be impossible if you couldn't just stand in his hitbox. Also, he's being a butthead. Get over here. Yeah, he's blue now. That's my special attack. Just a different color. Absolutely nothing different. I wish I could go out of my block with something interesting, but unfortunately this is all I got. <laughs> his final form is the exact same as his first form. Except I am not, uh, I am not Papyrus. So, him being blue has nothing to do with anything I did. I'm pretty sure the world record run has a way to manipulate this, but I can't figure it out and I can't communicate with the runner. Anyway, that's Bouching Tian. There is a slightly different cutscene after the same cutscene as all the other times. 
So we get to see this one more time. And then we get some of the most ear-piercing NES music ever. Here it comes. Yuna, feel free to put a stop to this whenever you want. 